I signed up for a class down at Third Street Playworks with Jeff Wells and I went along with a friend of mine and she dropped out after one class or two and I thought, oh, this is just great, so I'm going to persist with this. So before my 50th birthday, I decided I'm going to have a go at it. My pottery is mostly functional. I like it to have a purpose and I try to make it look pretty too. As I'm doing this as a full-time job, I don't have to suddenly change gear and think, oh, you know, work tomorrow, got to put this away, because that kind of stifles your creativity to some extent. So to have the time to actually focus and spend on it is really a great gift to have. So first bisque and then second glaze firing. So I like to tell people, well, I think I came on a 747, but since I've been here, I've lived in several different states, but Oklahoma was the one I settled in, and I think I can actually say I'm putting roots down here. I create art in my garden. I do have some pieces of artwork out there that haven't made the grade, and so I put things outside. I rescued Georgie, who is a German Shepherd cross husky, so she's a very independent lady and got a mind of her own. And then I have Lawson, who is the black lab mix, probably terrier because he has a foul mouth on him and he's always got something to say. And they're three years old now, but they're still very much puppyish. <laughs> You start off with a lump of clay. Some assembly is required, and then you end up with something completely different. And that lump of clay could be a mug, or it could be a bowl. Really, it's just exciting to see what you can do with it. And I want to create things, so anything that takes me away from creating is a distraction that I don't like necessarily having to market myself. I actually like to do personalised things on custom work for people so I make memory bowls if someone's getting married for example and then it's a keepsake for them for a lifetime. So many things now are becoming manufactured and mass-produced but you do away with so much of the actual art that people like myself are trying to create. And I feel I put love in my work. And so if someone is buying it, that's part of my soul or part of me that I'm giving them, that they have in their finished piece. 